Hello, people of the internet. Look, I was sent these, and I was sent these some time ago by Lightwish. Lightwish also sent me these as well. And I do believe they sent the these pens and these pens to other uh, YouTube colorists at the same time, well, i.e. they sent them these and these at the same time. Whereas I got sent these and then sometime after I got sent these, they were sent to me before Christmas and I haven't even opened them yet. So let's get into them. They are, ooh, interesting looking. I like the case. I like things when they come in cases. Let's have a look. Looky, look, look. Look, look. Nicely double, double bubble wrapped. Nice and secure. Ooh. So these are acrylic markers. They are, oh nice. They're double sided, but oh look at that case. That is a beautiful case, isn't it? Um, two colors. So there's two colors in, in each side. It's 48 pence. Let's have a look. I'll have them linked down below. Ooh, how do I get into them? Oh look, clip, clip. Very strong little case. Oh, isn't that a beautiful little travel case? I love it. I love it. Right, let's do some swatchy swatch swatches. Do they have any numbers on them? They have a, oh, they do. Oh, praise be. They have numbers on them. Look, 43 and 10, which makes me want to go and do a swatch sheet so that I've done a proper swatch sheet. So that is what I am going to do because I was just going to swatch them out smudge smudge on this kind of paper. But because they have numbers, I can have a proper swatch sheet on them. These ones didn't have numbers, did they? They had numbers on the card, but they didn't have numbers on them. You'd have to number them yourself. Love things with numbers. Thank you, Lightwish, for putting numbers on these. Let me go and do a swatch sheet and I will be back. Oh, it's like the good old times. Look, I've just printed out a swatch sheet. Sorry about the sun, we're in the conservatory. Beautiful in here. Um, and I shouldn't apologize for the sun, really, should I? <laughs> we're still in winter. Uh, I've, what I've done as well is I've used the numbers. Oh, it's got numbers. I have put whatever's on one side, so 46 is on that side, 46, and 36 is on that side. So each of these should be one pen. So let's go old styly. I've done that one in black because that pen is white, number 43 is white. I've got a bit of squidge to go underneath. All is well in the world. We are swatching, we are going old school. Let's get you in. I'm excited. I haven't played for pen, with pens for a long time. So, 46. Let's have a look at the pen. You know what they remind me of a little bit? They remind me of them alcohol markers um, that have the, you know, the ones that cause the trouble, really. Might need to lead you up a little bit so you get the sun, because I've got the sun there, but not so much there. Hmm. Um, yeah, so they've got that sort of finger bit there. They've got some writing on them that just says acrylic marker. And then the numbers. Okay, let's see what they're like. Oh, they've got a nice big tip. I wonder how them tips compare. We'll have a look at the end, shall we? We'll have a look at how they compare. But this, this end bit is, is very similar to them alcohol markers as well. Okay. Okay, yeah, they're nice. They feel pretty similar to other... Oh, they're smooth. They are smooth. So that was 36 and 46. I was going to put them in colour order, but I thought I'd leave them in the out of the box order. 57, it's like a rosy colour. 59, it's like a peach. And then this is really light, 144. These colours remind me of the, oh, look at that. That is a lovely pale skin colour, that one. Um, they remind me the colour numbers, and I'd have to check, um, of alcohol marker colour numbers. 150, that's beautiful. Uh, and then we've got 145. I don't mind that there's no English language on these. All I care about is that there's numbers. Because when you're looking for a colour, you want the number. 
reference all this one looks like it's going to be fluorescent so hold it down there you got my chance 45 wow nice oh it's not as fluorescent as it looks it's actually a really nice like pumpkin orange I do like that. see that this one looks like it's going to be fluorescent pink as well put it in the sun put it in the shade number one two eight but it's not, it's a lovely pastel pink. So don't go by the colors of the lids or the uh, bits that your finger goes. 151. Them colors there, them um, like light skin colors. Oh, look how smooth, they've dried down. Can you see that? Not a line. If you can hear a noise in the background, it's my washing machine spinning. I'm catching up with my washing. It is a Sunday. I think that's the third load that's gone in. It's the first time that I've been home for a while. I think it's the last. Um, I wasn't home last Sunday. I wasn't home the Sunday before. Yeah, first Sunday in three that I've been home. So lots of washing to catch up on. You don't need to know this when I'm testing pens. That was some nice, lovely purple colours. 131 and 149. That is a beautiful pale, like wisteria colour. I should name them, give them names. That's wisteria from now on. Do you have to shake these? No, not at all. 27. That's a lovely colour, purple, if you like purples. Oh, that's nice. Do these go over the lines? Opaque, they are. Oh, these are nice, aren't they? I'm going to compare these to the other ones. I love the little case. I love cases. Didn't think there could be another purple, but that is a real proper purple, and that's almost like a pinky purple. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I've ruined this watch sheet now. Or have I? Look, I've gone all the way over that one. Oh, doesn't that mean they mix quite nicely? I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that to go over it like that. I thought I was mucked up this watch. I mean, I have, because that's the biggest watch now. Okay, 47. It's a very greeny green. Oh, that is a yellow. That is a yellow. I've got them here so I can see better what I'm doing. Then this one has got yellowy red, 129. Oh, that's a nice yellow. It's like a prim primrose, prim rose yellow. This is a fluorescent yellow looking. Oh, but it's, well, I don't know, it is actually. It is very highlighter looking, that one. Next one, this is like a very pale mint green, like spectrum green, you know, in alcohol markers. But doesn't look anything like spectrum green. That one does a bit. Let's bring this up to the light. Because obviously we're in the conservatory now and the light's at a funny angle. And I can't turn it off. Unlike when I'm in my craft room, when I can turn the lights off and change the angle. I can't hear. It's the sun. Uh, 33. Nice. And 147. Another nice one. See that? See that? That's the sun coming round over the yard arm. 132. And 64. So nice, aren't they? And 152. Yep. And 154. That's a nice olive green. Nice one for trees and leaves and things. 34. Oh, <gasps> Always the way. 34. And oh, that's lovely. That looks like the colour of my craft room. Let's bring this up so you can see. There you go. Oh, look at the colours, look at the colours, look at the colours. Okay, let's do the last ones. Uh, 35. And 66. I don't know if it's 66 or 99. I've gone for 66. Clickety click, rather than the ice cream. Oh, beautiful. 
beautiful colour though. Beautiful colour. 66 or 99, you're beautiful. 48, yep. Nice. You know what these look like? You know the um, pens that you can get with the metallic in them? And then these look like the underlying ink colour of the ones without when you when you haven't got the iridescent metallic in them. Oh my dog's just come in. Scared the pants off me. I wondered what that noise was. Nice and warm in here, isn't it? Yes, he says. I'm going to sleep on the mat. That's number 50, lovely navy blue colour. I'll lift them up in a minute because I know that there's a shadow down there because the sun is above, coming through the roof. Okay, next one is 31. Which is like a true blue. And number 60, a more muted blue. They look proper painty. And then we have 130, just a grey, it's like a dark medium grey, and then 205, just like a greenish grey to be fair. We'll have to keep lifting it up, it's going to have to be it's difficult to see with the sun. Uh, this, what's this? 38, yep. A reddish brown chestnut. And another grey. Similar to that one, actually. 130 and 39 are similar. 65. Another brown. Oh, that's nice. And 55. Sort of like a ochre, I suppose. And let's do the black and then the white. Let's leave the white for last. It's like drum roll for the white. The black is black, really nice black. Solid black, beautiful. And then the white. Oh, let's bring it down. Let's bring you in. Let's drum roll for the white. Dun, 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 dun. Is the white gonna be opaque? Oh, wow. That took me by surprise. That was more white than I thought it was. Well, it went down more white. It's dry and less opaque now. Wow. So that is all the colours. What I am going to do now, which I'm getting angles so you can see the colours nicely. Just going to compare them. Beautiful little case, though, isn't it? Look at that little case. Put them all back in. Just going to compare them to. Well, first of all, I know that the white one in this set was really good. Let me find. Where's the white one? It's a black and white one somewhere, isn't there? Is that the white one? No. I thought there was a white one. Maybe I've taken it out and used it. Yeah, maybe this is the white one. Let's try it. We'll find out. The only way to find out is to try it. it. Doesn't look white, it looks cream. It may well be cream. Oh, it is cream. Did that go down similar? Let's have a look, let's compare it to the Artex. These are the ones that I say look quite similar. Well, not that similar. <laughs> and there definitely is a white one. Oh yeah, this is the chocolate box one. Come on. Come on. The white in here, and these these Artex ones are not single sided. These are double sided. I just uh, these Artex ones are not double sided. They're single sided. But I just wanted to see. I have to move you. Let's move you. Move the whole camera forward, so we can get into the light. There we go. All right. 
Ready? This is the Artex. Also, Artex got the much smaller. Double layer like the other one. Oh, triple layer. Oh wow, that's really, really interesting. So I prefer the Lightwish one, which is that one there in this new set, to the Artex one. Look at that Artex one, that's really wishy-washy. These are really nice, they've got like a sheen to them, like they are acrylic paint. They just say acrylic, they don't, they just say acrylic marker on them, not acrylic paint marker. But wow, they look nice, don't they? Yeah, look at that, look at that. That's the Artex one, that's the um, current ones I'm just testing, and they're the Guangna ones, the other ones that like which sent me. They are beautiful, aren't they? Really nice. I really like that white. Thought I might do a little bit of colouring. Just out of interest, see how they come out. I'm going to do a bit of blending. I'm going to blend that light one with that dark one. They just go over the dark. They don't really blend with the dark. They sort of go over the dark. Well, that's not too bad. They are nice and opaque. I'm not really making the paper peel very much, which is good. I'm terrible at going over the lines because I can't really get my head under. Just wanted to see how smooth they are. They are nice and smooth. I'm going to do, I'm going to do another bit of the tile and the other ones, these ones, whoop. Uh, similar colour. Okay. These, don't know which one's which. That's a bit greeny. It's really weird, it's kind of all sort of watery. That's a bit, well, that would do, it's a bit bright. That's the problem with not having numbers, you can't do the swatch sheet properly. These feel watery. Uh, the new ones feel thicker. The paint inside feels thicker. And then let's do a I'll go over the them ones with that. Oh yeah, definitely waterier because that hasn't even dried. Them ones seem to sort of dry almost instantly. The new ones, really like the new ones. Uh, let's do the Artex. I have not got a similar colour to that at all. Two blues. These are nice. These have got a lovely little baby brush. I've got two NCs, haven't I? I forgot about that. And you can go over. Does that one dry? The new ones, the lightwish ones, dry really quickly, so when you go over, they don't blend. They sort of, look at that, they've got that shininess, like they've got proper acrylic paint in it. I'm not sure if you're going to see that. Hmm. I haven't played 
my pens for ages. Oh, well that's interesting, isn't it? I wonder how the smoothest, smoothest I can do them is. Or if you use the tip, you can get all nice and... See, now I'm talking, I messed it up. <laughs> I think these would be quite nice in double-sided. If you add thick, thick lines. So you don't have to worry about going over the edge too much. Well, there you go. There you go. That is my little play around with let me just see the tips compared to so big tips compared to artex ones same ends though pretty much but smaller smaller tips on the artex and then let's see how they are compared to the guangnas oh the guangnas are really fat tips the orange one is the guangnas these are nice. These Lightwish ones are nice. Thank you for sending them to me, Lightwish. Thank you very much for sending them to me. Let's just have one final look at the colours. I'll have them linked down below. I need to get out of this conservatory now because it is currently 34 degrees. <laughs> it gets warm in the conservatory. Look at that. Beautiful colours. Thank you so much, Lightwish, for sending them to me. And like I say, they'll be linked down below. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.